Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com. Um, the topic is electric circuits and the title is equivalent resistance. All right, so this deals with when we put resistors into series. Remember series is when there's one uh, path through them. If you don't know much about series, I'll link a video here that will help you with that. Um, and if you are uh, or we can put them in parallel where the current chooses one resistor to go through. Notice here it goes through all of them, one route. Here we have many routes. Each route has one resistor. So we're going to talk about how to deal with resistance in these two situations. When we put a 10 ohm, a 10 ohm, and a 10 ohm resistor, how much resistance does it feel in total? Okay, And is that the same in the two kinds of circuits? Well, it turns out it's not. So let's take a look. First in series, um, you just add up the resistors. <laughs> the current has to go through all of them. So just add them up to get their equivalent resistance. If you want an equation, it would look like this. The equivalent resistance equals R1 plus R2. And then however many resistors you have in series, you just add them all up. Okay, so we'll do one example of that, but I think you'll catch on to that fast. I think that's all we'll need. Now let's do green. Okay, so if this was three ohms, and this was four ohms, and this was nine ohms, you would just do the um, equivalent resistance equals three ohms plus four ohms plus nine ohms equals Three plus four is seven. Seven plus nine is 16. 16 ohms. And that's it. That's the equivalent resistance. It's as though there was a one, uh, a one resistor with, an, uh, with a resistance of 16 ohms. Of course, in this case, you're lighting up three light bulbs instead of one or running three devices instead of one. Um, but the equivalent resistance is 16. So if you just take the voltage divided by the resistance, you'd get the current in the whole circuit. Parallel is a different beast, though. It is not as simple, um, but it is not super hard. And this concept builder focuses, as you can see, on some simple examples. So parallel, when we're adding resistors in parallel, what's that going to do? Well, remember, that makes it easier for the current to go through the circuit because there are more possible paths. That means that the equivalent resistance of parallel resistors must be smaller than the smallest resistor. Okay, let's take a look at what that means. So if we come over here and we have a three ohm and a four ohm and a nine ohm, you won't have one this complicated in, in, the, uh, in the concept builder you do, but you do see these on certain types of uh, multiple choice tests, especially, or if you're in a more advanced physics class, you might just calculate it using the formula I'm about to show you. But I want to talk about the concept here first. Keep in mind, if we didn't even have these two, then the current would go through the three ohm resistor, okay, and we come back to the battery, and whatever current is going there without these two, that'll be the same current that's going through here with these two because there's no reason the current couldn't do that. There's nothing else in the way. But now we've added extra options. Even though those extra options have more resistance than our original one, they're just allowing more total current to flow because the current that flowed through here was the same, but that's adding up with the current through there and the current through here to get our total current through the battery. Okay, so even though we're adding bigger resistors, the resistance is going to have to be less than three ohms, the total equivalent resistance of these three in parallel, because there are more options. Okay, so it'll be less than three, two point something, one point something. I didn't even bother to calculate it because that's not the point of this concept builder. If you did want to calculate it, you'd use this equation. You'd do one over three, one over four, plus one over nine. You'd find some common denominators. You'd add up your exponents, you'd uh, divide, and then don't forget to flip it in the end because this is solving for one over the equivalent resistance. But that is not essential for this particular concept builder. This combo concept builder uses a particular scenarios for parallel resistors that will allow you to do something that's simpler. So 
if we only have two resistors in parallel and they have the same resistance, same resistance, then the current through each of them will be the same, right? They're in parallel, so they're going to have the same voltage. We learned that in the last concept builder. And so if they have the same voltage and the same resistance, they're going to have the same current, okay? So now with two of them, since we have two resistors, the current will now be two times bigger, okay? Let's set up that scenario here so we can see that. So let's just say we had um, 12 ohms and 12 ohms. And this last one's not here at the moment. Okay. Then we'll get a certain current through here. We'll get the same current through there. So if we add that plus the same amount, that's like multiplying by two, it's twice as big. So the current is twice as big. Well, if the current is twice as big, that means the resistance was half the size. So therefore, the current will be two times bigger than if there was one of them. This means the equivalent resistance of those two resistors is one half of one alone. Okay? The same thing would be true if you had three equal resistors. Okay? Oh, let me just give you that number example before we go on to three. So if we had this situation with 12 and 12, well, if it's going to be half, that means the equivalent resistance of this would be 6, okay? Because there's twice as much current than when there was 12, because it's coming through both of them. And so that's as though there were 6 ohms of resistance, okay? And if we have three equal resistors, the equivalent resistance would be one-third. So if we, instead of having no third one here, we had a 12-ohm resistor there, now we have three 12 ohm resistors, so the equivalent resistance would be four, one third, because there are three of them. And so we have three times as much current. That means one third as much resistance. Okay. So how is this going to be set up in the, in the problem? First, in, in the concept builder. First of all, anything that's in series, you can just add them up. I'm going to trust you can do that. So you add them up, you get some number. Okay, the concept builder will have like three or four, depending on which level you're on, uh, circuits, and all of them except for one will have the same resistance. You just click on the one that doesn't have the same equivalent resistance. So this one would be 16. Okay, um, I don't remember if there were any like this, but remember if they're all the same, you just divide by three if they're in parallel. Okay, um, if there are two, you divide by two. Okay, so if there was only two, this one didn't exist. Okay then you would, this one didn't exist, you'd divide by two, and that would be six, uh, six ohms of resistance, equivalent resistance, when you have two 12 ohm resistors, remember you're just dividing by two. But here's the situation that you'll see that you might not know what to do with if I didn't help you out, okay? And that is, let's say we had something like this. Okay, well, how do I combine two things if they have different resistors? Because this isn't going to have the same amount that goes through here. So it's not just one third of, well, which one would you even do one third of? So here's how you do it. First, find the equivalent resistance of this. Okay, so this circuit, um, let's see if I can draw a little circuit here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two into one. So what's the equivalent of two 12 ohm resistors? It's half or six ohms. And then this one is six ohms. So now we can do the equivalent resistance of these two and half of six would be three. So that would be three ohms. So you look for other ones that are three ohms. If none of the others are three ohms, then they must all be the same. And this would be the one that's different. So good luck puzzling out your equivalent resistances. Remember, if you want to, you can always go back to the formula. Here's how you find the equivalent resistance of series. Here's how you find the equivalent resistance of parallel. Just don't forget at the end, you have to flip it over because you're actually solving for REQ. Okay. Um, but remember the shortcut, if there's two of them, just divide the resistance in half. If they're three equal resistors, it'll be one third. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you've got a question or uh, click like and subscribe if you'd like to help me out as a uh, channel here. And I'll see you next time on the scientific adventures of Beard Man.